So more goings on this weekend involving more MHKs, actually, bizarrely, besides uh, other people taking part in the ice walking. But Terry, that's what you called it, but it's not ice, is it? No, it's not. We decided to call it ice walking so it wouldn't completely terrify people. Because <laughs> it's glass. It is. It's about 20,000 broken bottles, so it's a bit different. Yeah. Now we've got um, some shots coming up here of Mr. Crookle, who's not only doing abseiling this morning, but he's now doing this this afternoon. I think he's doing a far walk tonight, isn't he? He but is, yes. He signed up for all three today to help local charities, and we just can't thank him enough. There's, um, there's Tim Crookle, there's James Bailey, uh, and they've both done all three activities today. So, <laughs> fingers crossed they'll make it to the fire walk this evening. Has it been well supported? It has, yeah. We've been really busy down here all day today. We've had um, people dropping donations in buckets and signing up on the day, so it's been really successful and we're just looking forward to tonight now. This seems to be your plan to do all these sort of different ideas this year, isn't it? It is, yeah. 30 years for hospice for um, 30th anniversary and we just want to do lots of different activities, get loads of people involved and something for everyone. Oh, just look at the concentration on Mr Cripple's face. Because <laughs> they will have to have a briefing first, didn't they? Mind over matter, isn't it? They did, yes. And all I can say is there was something involving an arrow. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well done. Congratulations. It's also bringing lots of money today. It is, yeah. Hopefully. We're hoping to raise about £4,000. So if we reach that, then I'll be very pleased.